Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we had created one project and we have we had gone through the one demo project and we try to understand how double accumulator works. In this video tutorial, we are going to uh, look into long accumulator which is very similar to which works very similar to double accumulator but uh, this works for the long data type. So here is the Eclipse, I have created a project with name long accumulator demo so let's create a first of all a interface and the, that interface in package com dot infotech dot task dot service and interface name i'm going to specify a long accumulator task service and in this interface i'm going to declare some r method like int I would say hmm, increment right and finally I would say uh, int final value so these are the two methods I have declared over here. Now I'm going to create an implementer of this interface. Now let's go to the in IMPL package and class name I'm going to specify IMPL. And this is going to implement our interface is called long accumulator task service interface. So as we know that uh, interface is kind of contract so this interface has some method which is kind of abstract and implementer has to implement those interfaces and say this is saying sorry so here saying that uh, Eclipse is suggesting me to remove override so there is some I think compiler version issue so come to here and I don't know why this guy is saying me to remove. Okay, this is not yet saved, so that's why this is showing an error. So once you save, then error has gone, right? And what I'll do, uh, this my task is going to implement one more interface. is called a uh, callable interface, right? So which we had done in last project so similar fashion this is this example we are going to look as well so long kind of long then again we have to implement call call method which is available in callable interface now here uh, Here we are going to declare a private uh, variable kind of long accumulator. Okay, long accumulator, and let's make an import of it from concurrent atomic package. And let's say long accumulator is the local variable name. Okay, and private long I would say number of times right and let's create a constructor of this class so I have created a constructor of this class right now we have accumulator right this accumulator will call accumulator dot accumulate function and every time I want to accumulate 10 okay so this is type of uh, I'm going to interface and let's declare this as a long both as a long long and this is also a long now implementer is forcing me to 
overwrite as a long okay now here we have a increment so we have a long accumulator dot accumulate and here every time we want to accumulate value 10 10 sorry so return type of accumulate is void itself so you cannot return so just you accumulate every time 10 and say accumulate dot get method this will return you value in long itself now second method final value right so final value you can say you can return the final value like this okay now uh, let's go to the let's create a client program over here so i'm going to create a client program i would say long co letter test and which will have a main method so let's create a main method and here i'm going to create a uh, instance of uh, instance of uh, long accumulator task service so here uh, we can create a reference of in interface right like this and I would say task 1 equal to new and here we can create a object of its in implementer and this is asking me to supply the value of accumulator so here we can create a value of accumulator so in IMPL class uh, we have just declaration of a long accumulator but uh, we are going to define accumulator uh, in client program itself so I would say long accumulator long accumulator and long accumulator and here if you go to the long accumulator then you can see how we can create instance of long accumulator right so this is asking me to supply the identity value this is nothing but the i mean initial value which i'm going to specify 5 al and here we have to define uh, this constructor takes instance of long binary operator if you look, go to the long binary operator it's a functional interface is having the only one method apply as long so this takes two parameter as a long and you apply some business logic on these two parameter finally you will have to return a long itself so let's uh, as we can see long binary operator is a functional interface so we can write a lambda expression uh, for it right so let's uh, create a lambda expression for this binary long binary operator so i'm going to write a lambda expression for it and accumulator function you can say x comma y and just we are trying to perform addition of these two number that's it and same i have passed over here so now we have created our first task and number of times i'm going to pass 100 l okay now this import we have to do and let's create one more task and I would say task 2 and again I am passing long accumulator and 100 L this much times we want to accumulate the value now uh, we have a executor framework right executor framework executors has a method new uh, fixed thread pool and thread pool I am going to specify 2 and here before that list create a uh, as you can see we have a two task right so let's create a list of call level so list of call level we are going to create list of call level and i'm going to specify name local variable name as a tasks and 
equal to we can take any implementer of array list so i'm going to take array any implementation of list so i'm going to take array list and in this list you can add your task so i'm going to add my task in this list error we are not getting auto support okay let's delete it so now what happened to this guy what happened all import has gone okay so let's import it java dot detail and call level so let's add these two tasks in this list so first we have a task one so let's add these two tasks and finally you will have to add task two okay why this is implementing callable right so why this is throwing an error what is saying why this is forcing me to cast to I don't know why this is saying So let's see how from where we have made. Okay, so these two tasks we have added. Uh, this was not supposed to force me to type cast right because. Uh, okay, so here we have taken. If you take like this, then this will not force you, right? So if you take the implementation side over here then this will not force you to implement else so what we'll have to do this guy has to extend call level interface right so in that case this will not force you to uh, like this uh, where is that interface so if you extend with this right in that case your implementer has not to implement uh, again this interface right sorry so remove this over here so that was the issue so no problem implement this and here in client program if you go and now this taking happily now we have a, a executor framework executor and dot new and thread pool you can take like two and this has a method is called invoke all those text collection as an argument so we are passing over here right and this will throw some exceptions let's handle within the try catch let's handle in try catch and here we can take a return type of this we can apply for each loop we can call a get method on future and finally we will this uh, throw some exception so let's try to handle and finally we are trying to print the value so we have a accumulator so here we are passing this accumulator so accumulator dot method we have a get so this will return us the final value so if i run then we will get the final value so we get the value as 5 so there is some code is still pending in call method right so rest of the code I am going to complete in next video.